We're really, really excited to showcase media intelligence and the search panel. Through media intelligence, it's able to identify so many different markers from visuals to text to metadata. We are Twitch live broadcasters. We are also filmmakers and vloggers, content creators. So we have a yellow sandwich uh, that pops up on screen when we hit the hype train. So let's go ahead and look up yellow sandwich. I can go there immediately and know that I can clip that moment of my yellow sandwich just by looking up yellow sandwich. The text based editing has been really, really game changing for us because we ramble a lot. And just to be able to delete anecdotes very quickly is amazing. We sing a lot of, of songs. So just by looking up, wake me up, perfect. I know that I can use text-based and be able to find that moment. And so if we wanted to pull that song in particular, here we go, we're right in here and I can quickly edit. The and playhead pull, jumps right to it. And yeah, and be able to pull that moment immediately. So I think this is a really great transition point for Courtney to take over because I think we have about a terabyte of footage and that's it's, it's a lot. We filmed mm -hmm. over eight different devices. And so splitting all of that up has been a lot. I'm gonna start with the vlog part. We're going tubing and maybe I don't necessarily want to scroll down through my manic Manic, manic set of footage. And then I would like to use the search panel to find it. So tubes. So we're gonna just gonna drag this to the back. Boom, it's on my timeline. Don't even have to worry about it. Okay, so let's open the wedding because this is where things will kind of get uh, crazy. So the way that I started organizing this, and this is where the metadata is about to be game changing. First of all, it's best to do this anyway, especially when you're working with multiple cameras, you're gonna actually have to go in and say what camera type it is. You can go in and look up any sort of, basically all the footage that you have tagged. So if you type in your camera model, which would be the Sony a7S II, I would go in, which I've done before, is I go in and I just type in the type of camera that it was, and then all of those will show up under the metadata because all of them have already been tagged previously. It's so important to have those B-roll moments and being able say to dance. just say dance and be able to be like, cool, I didn't even realize I had that moment. And, and being able to bring that into the timeline and have that fill space, that's huge. Yeah, it's... It's amazing. We're gonna go ahead and transition over to our last project. We filmed one of our friend's music videos and when filming a music video, it's really, really important for us that we have too much coverage. We want too much coverage because in edit, you learn that you need to have options. Kisos really wanted smoke as an emphasis. Mm -hmm. So being able to quickly find, okay, there's smoke in this take, that's so helpful. And that would have been amazing when we were editing this video. This is localized. You don't need the internet to be able to process all of these oh. things in search panel and media yes. intelligence. Thank you guys so much for uh, for watching. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. And thank you, I, Adobe. Yeah, Adobe, thank you so much for having us. This has been awesome.